I don't know if anyone's here. <laughs> gonna count. But hey, we're having a morning sale. And I'm with Trisha, a fellow Washingtonian. Hello. Yeah, and so two Washington sales. <laughs> yeah, West Coast girls. We should have like a we should have a side sale every month called the West Coast Girls. <laughs> Does that sound like a, a band or something? <laughs> that would be good. So yeah, we're um I usually don't have a morning sale. Usually it's like pop-up sales or um, you know, just something out of the blue. Um I usually have evening sales. But Trisha, you usually have a midday sale and evening sale, right? Right. Eastern time, it's um, 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. So if okay. you're on the West Coast, yeah, it's a 1 p.m. Um, sale on Wednesdays. Nice. And then on uh, Saturday night, it's the late night sale at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, right after oh. Pamela Blanchard. Oh, nice. So, like, you know, if people are working one day, you know, they can come to your other sale. Mm -hmm. um, hi, yeah, Linda. I, hi, Linda. <laughs> so usually I have a Tuesday night sale, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I always remember that in my brain. because so I would never remember Eastern times. So I'm like, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> hi, Just Eddie. Add hi, Linda. <laughs> what? Add three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just add three. I know the, the mountain and central time. Like, no, I can't memorize that. I can only remember, <laughs> memorize Pacific and um, Eastern. So you guys, we're going to have, um, so this is going to be a straight up sale, like straight up prices. I always say straight up, <laughs> straight up <laughs> prices. I think we're each going to show around 15 items. It's going to be a mixture of, well, I'm going to show a mixture of like jewelry, vintage, um some not so vintage um i just like to show a variety of stuff and then trisha what are you going to be showing like um i actually i don't have any jewelry today but i do have oh, okay. a couple of um yeah it's kind of some vintage a couple new kind of collectible things and a couple kind of more unique one-of-a-kind things okay cool and if you guys are just tuning in we both ship from washington state um, so if you're wondering about shipping, um, we're in the West coast and then I ship, I use a pirate ship. Do you use pirate yep. ship? Yep. I do use pirate ship. Okay, cool. And hi, Mar hi Maria. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Denise. Hi, hi everybody. everybody. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Um, <laughs> so yeah, pirate ship gives you like the best deal. Sometimes if the package is really heavy and you're like getting it from Florida or something, I will put it like in a flat rate. Sometimes that's a better deal. This stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so just keep that in mind when buying. And if you have never purchased from Trisha, um, if you could email her your information, and if you never bought from me, if you email me your information. Um, so mm -hmm. all you need is uh, your PayPal email, your physical mailing address, and your real name and your YouTube name. Um, I always like that because then when I look up my emails, it's like super easy and stuff. Yeah, it's easy to match people up that way. Yeah, and if you, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to Trisha's channel, her, her channel is Sandy and Otto. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to me too. <laughs> 15 Adventures. Definitely. <laughs> but, um, okay, so we got some people. Let's, uh, hi, Lizzie and Louie. Um, uh oh, my volume thing's going weird. Trisha, you want to get us started? Um, sure. I can get okay. started. <laughs> you sounded confident in that answer. <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh. Uh, okay, yeah. on. So, <laughs> you're going to be a solo layout. Here we go. And I you're was just reading Belinda's comment about getting a glowy brooch. Ooh, Oh, my nice. gosh. You know what? I nice. probably had a glowing brooch, and I sold it and didn't even know. Oh, I know probably, but I'm going to check every time now. Yeah, you do need to because it's weird because sometimes they glow because of the, um, you know, like little rhinestones that are in there, yeah. but sometimes there's, um, like some natural stones and I don't know. I, I don't know what all, but there's some natural things that give off a glow also that are yeah. really fun. So there's there's like two two different ways to get jewelry to glow, and they're both really pretty. So that is really cool. And hello, yeah. Brooke. I saw that you popped in. 
And oh, and one thing I forgot to do is get my little ruler ready so I can measure things here. Okay, so I am going to start with this pink vase. So this is kind of a mid-century modern vase. It's pink on the outside. It's actually clear glass on the inside. And if you look real close around the rim, you can kind of see that clear glass. And it also has white splatter on it. Let me get that down so you can kind of see, there we go, the white splatter. And then the bottom is actually kind of clear also. And this is about seven inches tall. So it's a really pretty little bud vase. But yeah, very mid-century lines. And then that really cool splatter, white splatter on the pink. And this little vase is $6. And it's number 80. That's so pretty. Yeah, it's very dainty. But it would look really nice in a little cluster of other vases. Yeah. Yeah because it's just kind of unique and different. And of course, it'd be very pretty with a little rose in it. Hi, Book Bewitched. <laughs> oh, I see Maria. And Maria, uh, pen, there we go. <laughs> All right, thank you, Maria. All right, so let's see. What do I have? I have nothing in order. <laughs> Um, I have some interesting earrings. I was going to keep these and then I was like, you know what? I have a lot of earrings, <laughs> so I'm going to sell them. This is not necessarily vintage, but they have a very vintagey look. They're like, um, kind of like gold. They look like gold flowers to me, upside down gold flowers. They're dangly earrings. They're gold tone and they're, uh, hooks. And these are newer, but they're supposed to kind of have a vintage look to them. And these are, and they're lightweight. They're not very heavy. And these are going to be $6, number 15. See, Don't they look pretty. They're nice. If you like big earrings, these are really cool. $6, number 15. They almost have like a Victorian look to them. I think. Yeah, they do kind of have a Victoria. Yeah. I was thinking that also. I mean, I don't know. Kind of that filigree type look. Yeah, filigree. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay, I see Maria is first. Oh, Maria's on a roll. She's ready to shop. <laughs> Belinda, you miss, you miss it just by a second. Okay, I have got a metal sign. Now, this is a reproduction of an, let's see, a sign that came out. It's dated Valencia 1930. Um, but this is from Spain, but it is a uh, reproduction. It looks like maybe it came out in 2015, but uh, she is so cute. Her little kind of maid's outfit, I guess, and she's serving dinner. And this sign, oops, I think I need to make my ruler a little bigger. It is, no, I guess it's about 11 inches, about 11 by 8 inches on this cute little metal sign. And it's done, you know, again, to, to it is, oh, there we go, reproduction of the sign that came out in 1930. And it does have the holes on it, so you can hang that. And this sign is $10, number 62. And again, it is 11 inches by 8 inches. Oh, okay. Oh, give earrings to Belinda. Okay. Oh, Maria, are you buying the earrings for Belinda, or do you want uh, do you, or you want me to give it to Belinda, like um, have her buy them? <laughs> Maria, just let me know. Is it, is it like friend mail, or are you just saying, oh, let her uh, purchase them? 
Okay, next, uh, I, I just go all over the place. I don't stay in order. Is a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, book, storybook based on the movie, uh, 1981, copyright 1981. So then you have all the characters. Hi, Sarah Lee. Let Belinda buy. Okay, I'll change that. Um, so here's what, and then it has like, you know, from the movie, pictures from the movie has the whole story and stuff. And um, yeah, so that's a nice collector piece. Um, 1981, it is hardback. There is a little bit of tear here, uh, as you can see. So it's not perfect condition, but I mean, still really good condition. And this book is $6, number 12. If you have anyone who's a fan, fan of Indian, look at that. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that just scream 80s? <laughs> That was such a great movie. I know. Indiana Indy Jones. Oh, I didn't know they called him Indy for short. But um, yeah, six dollars number twelve. All right. And I'm going back to you, Trisha. Okay. I have a wall sconce that is a brass candle holder. And it has this pretty background that kind of reminds me of like a peacock feather. Oh, yeah. And let's see. This measures, it's about eight inches long. And it does have a sticker on the back that says Made in India. And hi, Teresa. And then here is the hook for hanging. So you can hang that on the wall. And really pretty, again, for a nice little candle in there. And this is $5, and it's number 70. Oh, great price. And that is Made in India Brass Wall Sconce. And hi, Lucid. Hey, Teresa. Hey, uh, Elizabeth. Hi, Helen. Uh, New England Thrifter. Who else have I missed? <laughs> hi, Sharon. It's going a little quickly. But, um, hi, everyone. So I have another book. Now, this is a remake. This is a remake of a very old book. Um, it was from like 19, late 1940s, 1947. It's a remake, 19, renewed 1975. It's the golden book. But look, aren't the graphics so pretty? Oh, look at that cute little bunny. This would be perfect for Easter, um, you know, next year. Oh, look. that's <laughs> sweet? <laughs> so and this is hardback. I mean, this would even look good, like, in decor, you know, like, in the background. And you can have all your Easter decorations. Um, so this book is going to be $4, number 11. $4, number 11. But look, I just love the, oh, my God. The bunny and the duckling. <laughs> they are so cute. I know. It's just like cuteness overload. <laughs> oh, Belinda, you got it. Um, okay. Yes. Totally, Elizabeth. Where's my thing? Oh, there we go. All right. I have a little um, like porcelain goose figurine. It has a beautiful little ring of uh, flowers around its neck. This is a Lefton piece. Oops, there we go. Lefton made in Taiwan. And let's see, three by, that looks to be about three inches by three inches. Uh, no chips or cracks on here. It's in excellent condition. And this Lefton Goose is five dollars, number seventy-seven. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's awesome, Belinda. Oh, Tracy, saying, "How's the weather today?" Well. <laughs> We're both Tracy, in Washington. <laughs> yeah, we're both in Washington, and it has been hot. It's supposed to be hotter today, like triple digits. 
Trisha lives in a cooler uh, townhouse and I live in a house in the country, but we have a 20 foot above ground pool. Um, so we've been swimming a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been hot. Okay, so I have these two proper, beautiful ladies from the Victorian era. And I just love these because it gives you an idea of how they dressed a hundred years ago. But look at these dresses. Look how proper these women were, you know. Wow, I don't think those collars could get any higher. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, do not show any skin whatsoever. Make it super tight. It's just like, wow. And you know these women had money because this was expensive to pay a photographer to have this beautiful picture. And they, these are both Chicago. And this one even has like the writing on the back. Um, but for these two pictures, and they're uh, pretty good condition and hard, sturdy, you know, the cardboard. And they're $8. Uh, $8 number four. $8 number four. I love the stained glass behind that one lady. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I love how they're like, okay, let's just throw this uh, tape tapestry right here you know like you can just picture the photographer like okay this is gonna be nice right here now lay your arm here <laughs> i don't know i can just hear him talking just like okay and then back then you didn't smile you know no. that was like considered silly very you know, serious very, very serious like it's actually rare to see them smiling when they do i'm just like oh wow like they smiled huh <laughs> they must have been a rebel um Oh, the first person I see is Sharon C. Sharon C. Okay. Yay! Uh, all right. Trisha's turn. Okay. I have a newer set of salt and pepper oh. shakers. Oh. These are <laughs> cats with uh, little kind of polka dots on them. They kind of look like, um, oh. I'm going to say, <laughs> with their polka dots. This one does have the Made in China sticker, but they do both have their stoppers. And here are the holes on their heads. But really a fun addition to a cat collection or a salt and pepper collection. They were hand painted. You can see, oops, there we go, how their faces are just a little bit different because they were hand painted. And they are a little larger because they're about three and a half inches long. So they are a little bigger. And they are $3 for the pair. Number 91. Oh, well, that's a great price. Um. I don't have any more uh, photographs available for this sale. Um, I can pull some out more for tomorrow's sale. And I totally forgot I have a giveaway <laughs> tonight. Um, so um, anyone who buys something from me will be entered into a giveaway that I totally forgot. And Trish, I forgot to mention that to you if you wanted to do a giveaway. Uh, um, so anyways, I'll, I'll enter everyone who's on like, um, uh, Sharon and, um, and, uh, Belinda and stuff. But if you, if you buy something for me tonight, you could be entered in the giveaway to win this beautiful silk scarf. And it comes with this cute little gold tone brooch hat and a little butterfly vintage hanky. I'm keeping it in the wrapper. So that is the giveaway for today. I can't believe I forgot that. That's like my thing now. Uh, so anywho. Well, since I is... just had my thousand subscriber giveaway, I was oh, yeah, giving thing myself a little missed. break. I will probably start doing that again in July. So be okay. sure to subscribe to my channel and come back to my live sales. And Eddie's um, eBay Attic, I did see you for 91. Thank you very much. So, yeah, so um, watch for that to be coming to my channel back in July. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I totally messed up on that one. I, I got confused and I was like, uh, I was like, you know, <laughs> when did you, and I was like, ah, oh, dang it. But you know, I did win a giveaway from you. You did. You won yeah, my 500. So, yeah. So I was like, you know, that's okay. Cause I already, you know, won. So I was like, man, well, I don't know. I got confused. Um, oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, so anytime you enter something, uh, if you, like, buy three things, then you'll get three entries into the, the uh, you know, drawing. Um, okay, so next I have this blue glass flower frog. Now, if this looks uh, familiar, I actually sell, sold a pink one like this months and months ago. And um, I found a blue one, which was pretty surprising because these are kind of rare. It says ASP 2004 on the bottom. Uh, the metal part is a little bent, but I mean, that doesn't really matter, I don't think. And then it screws off and it's in really good condition. Um, you'll see like a little mark here or a bubble here. And that's just from the glass blowing. That's not like damage or anything. Um, so this blue glass flower frog is $12 number one. $12 number one. Wow, that is beautiful. That little bit of sunshine that's coming through the yeah. back when it hits that blue. That is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like your pri prizes. Yes, and yeah, Teresa did. She won the milk glass um, wedding cake mm. uh, container that I had. So yeah, Teresa won that, and I I hope you enjoyed getting that. That was a beauty. And um, so the next item I have is kind of an unusual. It's kind of a twofer item. Now this was made by Globin, and Globin is a subscription service. They get items from artisans all around the world. And so this was um, handmade by an artisan in probably India. Um, I think it was India. And then this glass, which works as a vase with this, I think was made in Mexico. And it's just a really nice clear glass. So what you do with this is this sits on the counter. This goes underneath in here. And then you can put flowers in and it either works as a vase or if you are doing starts um, and need something for it to root in, put it in water and have it root. And then this is the support for the rest of the plant. So that's how that works. And what makes this a twofer is I have this piece and this is from, can I read this? This is from Portugal. Let me get that. Can I get that on the camera with the light shining on there? Anyways, there's a sticker that does say Portugal and this is a candle holder. And you can see, you can put a taper in here. You can put a votive, um, you can put a little tea light in here. And then this sits on top of here. So you get it, you can have it as a vase or you can have it as a candle holder. So it's kind of a really cool little twofer on there. And this is going to be $10 for the whole set. And it's number 89. So again, that's the vase, the candle holder, and the holder, the main holder. <laughs> and that's number 89, $10. All right. Okay. Next, um, I have a wood hand painted, I'm calling it like a pen pencil holder. So this is like a project piece. Ethel Knapp made it in 1978. She signed it. <laughs> but she is a she was a really good painter because I don't think I could paint this well. I I I can make it look like this. But this is a fun project piece. It's out of wood and the top. It's perfect for like pencils and pens. See? And I thought this would look really cute like in a school or if you had an art room in your home or like a little preschool or daycare. I mean, wouldn't that be so sweet? Or you could put paint brushes in here or, you know, colored pencils, pens. 
Oh, I just thought it was so cute and original. And so this will be ten dollars number two. Ethel worked really hard on making this. <laughs> ten dollars number two. And painted original piece. Or hat pins, yes. Hat pins. You can get creative candy sticks. The list goes on. Ethel, yeah. <laughs> Ethel, these are, Ethel, my grandma's name was Mildred. Ethel and Mildred needs to make a comeback. <laughs> Those kinds of names are making a comeback. Are they? Way more unique. So if you're yeah. looking for like a, a one of a kind name where your kid will be the only one in the school with that name, those older names are becoming yep. popular again. <laughs> yeah. So next up, I have a pair of mugs. Now these are a matched pair, but I'm showing you the front and the back. So you can see in the front, we have a bigger cluster of these beautiful yellow and purple flowers. And in the back, it's a smaller cluster. And on the inside, there is also a little flower. And hello, Dee. Hi, Picasso cat. And these are um, Royal Devon. They are fine bone china made in England. And it's just a beautiful pair. They've got gold trim. No chips or cracks on these. They are in beautiful condition. And a really pretty handle that has the little extra thumb rest right there that uh, makes it easier to hold these when they've got that little extra piece there. And for this pair, oops, there we go. They are $6, number 85. $6, number 85 for the beautiful Fine Bone China Royal Devon Cup pair. Oh. I'm looking at the name Agnes, Zelda, Azalea. <laughs> Zelda would, would remind me of the video game. Agnes, yeah, I remember Agnes. Agnes is like around the same generations as Mildred and and Ethel and, you know, um, I think Rose is making a comeback. Rose, that's another classic. Um, I have more jewelry. Hi, Picasso Cat. Oh, Norma Jean plus one's here. Um, this is a blue, a silver tone with a blue kind of, I don't know what it is. It's not stone. I think it's just acrylic, but it's really pretty. I showed this before a long time ago. Um, sometimes things I've shown a long time ago, I'll like put away and then I'll bring it back. <laughs> um, Griselda Agnes Barnesfarger. Oh, geez. <laughs> Hi, Julie by Denise. So anyways, this beautiful pendant, you could just put like a really pretty um, chain through it and stuff. It kind of has a little bit of filigree, filigree, filigree look. Um, $6, number seven. $6, number seven. This has like a star. Yeah, like a star in the middle. Uh, $6, number seven. Etta Leona. That's kind of cool. I like the name Leona. That is a pretty name. Yeah. All right. I have a figurine next. This is done kind of in that uh, Yadro style with the um, blues and kind of that sandy tan color. And it's this pretty little gal. I'll get in close so you can see her face. And she's got the pretty little curly hair. And she's got some wheat in her skirt. And here is the back of the figurine. And her hat has a lot of detail in the design. And all of her fingers are there. I'll get in close there so you can see she's got all her fingers. Um, and she does have a Lego Japan sticker on the bottom. And she's about six inches tall. And she is $3, number 87. So she's oh, a deal of a deal today. Yeah. $3 for this beautiful figurine. 
number 87. Oh. And hi, Jeannie. Oh, that's funny, Book Bewitched. <laughs> and I see Teresa for that one. Thank you. Yeah, it's really funny the things you find out thrifting. You wonder what people are thinking when they, you know, make certain things. <laughs> um, next up, I have a Mickey Mouse Cartoon Classics giant card game. There's 40 cards, and I just counted all the cards. They are there. So the box is a little beat up. Um, got like a little st uh, stain there. <laughs> um, I don't know what year this is. It doesn't say the year. But um, here are the cards. I think it's like a matching game because there's like two of uh, each card. But look at these fun graphics. Does this remind you of like classic, classic uh, Disney cartoons and stuff? <laughs> like this one. <laughs> so um, here's the back of them. So I think it's like a matching game. But uh, there's 40 cards. They're all there. Box will beat up, but the cards in great condition. And this is six dollars number three. Six dollars number three. And great ephemera with those. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. Six dollars number three. Uh, all right. Okay. I have another vase. This one's a little larger. And you can see that there's a ton of designs in here. And then we've got the flowers painted in the little sections that are open and I'll get in close here so you can see the pretty flowers and this gorgeous design work. This is done by Kaiser West Germany and it's called Palermo. And so this is a porcelain vase and it is almost seven inches tall. Again, beautiful. This is kind of a, kind of a little more of a bisque finish. Um, not quite as scratchy as bisque, but a little more of that kind of a finish than a satin finish. On the inside though, it is very um, glossy glazed. So you can put water in there, no problem, because it does have the really shiny, glossy glaze in there to handle the water. And this gorgeous vase, again, Kaiser West Germany, is $12. That's number beautiful. 18. Oh my God. <laughs> there go the dogs. I know, Connor, no. Okay, so I read in the chat. <laughs> um, I have more jewelry. I have these two silver toned leaf earrings. Um, kind of have a Native American look to them. And then I, yes, these are brand new, but they're newer. Uh, angel wings uh, have like a gold tone with little clear rhinestones earrings. They're just made in China, but the two of them. So you get two pairs of earrings, the hanging feathers, and, yeah, and the angel wings. And uh, they're $6 for the two pairs, number eight. $6, number eight. Oh, you're back. All right. Hi, Lynn. Uh, what did I say? $6, number eight. I'm getting distracted by reading the chat. <laughs> I remember I used to get so distracted reading the chat and everyone would tell me, stop reading the chat. I'm like, I can't stop. <laughs> it's hard to not read the chat. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh my God, you're telling me to stop? I can't. Oh, Maria got it. Maria's in a jewelry mood. All right. Okay. And Lynn, I got you for number 81. Thank you. Next up, I have a really fun little wall plaque. This is a ceramic piece. And it says, painting the pump doesn't clean the well. 
And that is a foam, farmer's almanac quote, I guess. But I think that's kind of funny. Painting the pup pump yeah. doesn't clean the well. <laughs> that's funny. And this was done by Pithy. It's a Pithy pottery plaque. Uh -huh. I say that three times fast by Kathy's Clay Things. <laughs> And it's just a small little plaque. It's about uh, about five and a half inches long. So really funny little saying. And this is going to be $2, number 90. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cute. So, yes. yeah, it's just kind of kind of a funny, funny little saying. Because, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're going to clean something, you have to actually do the work you can't just <laughs> can't just gloss over it it's not going to get done <laughs> desiree i like that desiree okay i have some antique postcards um and they are i don't know why i wrote it down okay oh yeah here we go antique postcards they are minneapolis they're like a, a falls and these are, this is 1941. It does have writing on it. And these are back, you know, before colored, um, you know, photographs and stuff. So, you know, they would color it almost like a, like a coloring book. <laughs> Here's Falls. This is American Falls from Bellow Niagara Falls. This is blank. So you could even use this. Here is Horseshoe Falls from Ghost Island, Niagara Falls. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, it's blank. And uh, here's another one, Niagara Falls. Blank. And this one is also blank, Niagara Falls. Horseshoe Falls from below. And these are all um, vintage, original vintage. And for all of them, you get five of them for $8, number five. $8, number five for the vintage almost antique postcards. Well, I mean, getting close to antique. <laughs> That's another 20 years. <laughs> um, so yeah. Reading the chat, reading the chat. Okay, my next item is a spoon rest. And this is a three spoon rest. And it's got that pretty sunflower painted right in the middle and kind of a blue spongy uh, rim around it. It's not marked. Um, so it could be a hobbyist piece. But uh, yeah, I really like having multiple places when you multiple places to put spoons when you're doing more than just one dish and you need um, need some more spots. And let's see, for reference, it's about six inches. And this is going to be $3, number 71, for the three spoon rest. All right. All right, so next up, I have some more jewelry. This is um, from Mexico. These little, um, they're, um, say, uh, Paca, Opaca, Mexico. And they're these silver uh, palm trees with little seagulls, um, kind of like beach earrings. Uh, they do need to be polished up, but that's pretty easy. I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> if you buy it, you can do it. So these would be fun to wear on vacation. They're kind of bigger earrings, if you like bigger earrings. And these are uh, $10, number 14. $10, number 14 for the Alpaca Mexico silver earrings. Da -na 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 -na. All right. I've got some linens. And these are, whoops, there we go, uh, cross-stitch linens for the um, napkins. And I think there are six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So there are six napkins in here. 
and they're a good size. And each one has the same design cross stitched into it. And for this set of six, show you all six of them in there. They are $5, number 84, for six cross-stitch napkins. Oh, wow. Nice. Very nicely starched. Yes. <laughs> um, Elizabeth, I got you down for those uh, earrings, and, and you're in the drawing. And just remember, there's a drawing for the... Um, if you guys win anything from, win anything, buy anything from me, you're put into a drawing for the scarf and brooch and hanky a lot. Show this before and we'll show it again. <laughs> this is a vintage piggy bank. It's almost like paper mache. They used to have these, like, give these uh, way at fair, a fair, fairs, not a fairs, <laughs> fairs and stuff. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, it's made in Japan. Mid, this mid-century has the stopper. It's got this, you know, hot pink, blue painted fun look to it. Kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know, some of the decorations. And it's a small world in a uh, Disneyland. Um, so this piece here is, I can measure, measure it too. Everything's falling over. Hot mess. It is about mm, seven inches long, three and a half inches tall. Yes, and this is going to be fourteen dollars, number thirteen. Fourteen dollars, number thirteen. Isn't that cute. I love those colors. I know. It, I don't know. Just remind because, like, um, in a small world. They have like these bright neon colors and stuff. So it just kind of reminds me of that era. Mm hmm. So showing this bunny again. I'll show it over and over again. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> I showed it like two times. Or this is the third. Somebody's going to like that. Yeah. Eventually, someone new is going to come to my sale and buy it. I just yep. know it. Yep. Because it'll match their daughter's. Um, bedroom colors or something. Something. Oh, like Elizabeth wants it. It was number thirteen. How'd you get forty-two? <laughs> where, Elizabeth, where did the forty-two come from? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and Linda, I I got you for the um, napkins. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I got I got you, Elizabeth. Hey, I sold it. So excited. <laughs> That's I do wonderful. Actually, have some of, like the bunny. I have the lion, the cat, and one other one. <laughs> oh, dementia. Oh, oh, don't say that. Elizabeth, you're too young. You're too young. Way too young. <laughs> yeah, she's like way younger than me. Oh, God. <laughs> I have this beautiful little, I'm going to call it like a little mini pitcher. It's this pretty amber glass and it has a clear handle. It does have a, a ponto mark on the bottom that I will say is not as smooth as, as I would have liked. Maybe they were in a hurry <laughs> to get this done. <laughs> but uh, it is, uh, it's about four inches tall. So it's just a small one, but really cute as a little bud vase. I think this would be great. And just a nice addition if you have that really pretty honey colored amber in your collection. And this is $6, number 86. And I just really like the clear handle on that. So pretty. <laughs> that is pretty. That's so sweet. <laughs> Stephanie, okay. you're not old and crusty. <laughs> I'm old and crusty. Oh my god! My son took the. I was in the pool in my bikini top and underwear, or whatever, because so hot. I don't care. I'm at home. <laughs> and my son, I was like, "Take a picture of me. Take a picture of me." And then he took this really horrible picture of me. I'm like, "Oh my god, is that what I look like?" Oh god. <laughs> I'm definitely not in my twenties anymore. I was like, oh, "Holy moly!" 
Um, you're not old. I'm old and crusty. Well, after 110 degrees today, we're all going to be really crusty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't understand. Like, I put makeup on. I put these earrings on. Like, I showered. But when I'm done, I just get in the, I, you know, everything comes off because I'm just with my family. And I get in the pool and I'm crusty and I'm hot and I was like, I don't care. It's <laughs> like, what are you wearing? I was like, underwear. <laughs> That's it. Like I'm not putting on any clothes. And yes, um, we are both from Washington State, yes. so we both are shipping from Washington. Yes, Roxana. Um, we are shipping from Washington State, West Coast, and we both use Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship seems to be the cheapest way to um, ship items. They give you like a discount and stuff. Um, okay, I have two pink necklaces. I showed these a long time ago. I'll show them again. This has like a colored pink shell pendant. Um, if you didn't like the seed beads, cause um, you could also take this pendant off and like put it on a silver chain. It's pretty, it's pretty thick, it's real pretty. And then I'm also doing this the same kind of pink. It's like a plastic pendant, but it's really cute and simple. And it has like this kind of rubbery chain. Again, you could just use the pendant and put it on something. And so the two necklaces are $6, number nine, $6, number nine. Whew. And our emails are up there, <clears throat> up on the screen. So if you've never purchased from us before, if you could just email us your information, you know, especially if you buy something like, so we can get it and you don't forget. Cause sometimes like people will forget and like, oh shoot, I don't have your information. We can't find you. And then you're lost, and then it's a whole huge mess. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm guilty of that. I'm I'm guilty. Of I know. Once I've in a while, when I'm on a new seller's um, sale, yeah, I'll buy something and then go, oh yeah, I didn't send you my information. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to pay someone. I went on the vacation. It, I think it was Joni, and uh, yeah, the same thing. So I emailed her my information. I'm like, oh good, I got that out of the way, and then. Um, Hold on, I can't. Hold on one sec. So then I was like, oh my gosh, I was on vacation and I came back. I was like, oh shoot, it was three days. I was like, I didn't pay her. She had already sent it to me. She probably thought I'm not going to flake on it. I have a big, you know, a channel. Yeah. But I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be one of those people. <laughs> I don't well, want to. I was one of those people to you once because it was like, oh, yeah. That I don't know what they I don't know what PayPal did with that invoice. Yeah. It's like it never got to me. And so yeah, I was one of those yeah. flaky people with Stephanie one time. And she's like, Hey, you didn't pay your invoice. And it's like, Oh like, my God, like, PayPal, hey, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I was like, Hey Trisha, what's up, girl? I was like, um, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It happens. And and it, yeah. we, we know it happens because it happens to us. There are times yeah when PayPal doesn't deliver invoices yeah. and, stuff. and a lot of times we'll just send reminders and yeah. you know, it's just, it's a nice friendly reminder because we need them at times too. Cause it yeah, happens yeah, to us. Totally. <laughs> it's common. All right, Trisha, you're on. Okay. I next have a set of six napkin rings. These are wooden napkin rings. And they have this really cute little vintage sticker inside. And I'm going to see if I can get it to show up. It says Audrey and it is in pink. And these were made in Taiwan. But I just love that cute little pink sticker that says Audrey in there. And uh, from what I can tell, each one does have one. And they're just these nice, very light wood napkin rings really cute um also good for all kinds of different projects um yeah i know they do have a very scandinavian look so it was what i was kind of surprised because they do kind of remind me of like ikea <laughs> from the look of them but you get six of them in here and they were originally from where's that one oh here they were originally purchased at May Company. There's the original sticker on there from May Company, where they came from. 
And this set of six, oh goodness, <coughs> is three dollars number sixty-three. <coughs> oh goodness, water. All right. Um, so I just broke something I was gonna sell. So um, when it's your turn, Trisha, I'm gonna have to take something else out to sell. Um, it was this porcelain dog and the tail oh, no. just broke off. Yeah. Oh, so no. I don't know how that happened, but the tail just snapped off. Ugh, so annoying. Anywho, um, once it's Trisha's turn, I'm going to take a step back, Trisha, and, and try to find something. Okay. Um, but you now that happens. Uh, I have our glass bowl. I showed this, I think, a few weeks ago. I'll show it again. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, you know, project piece. I, I don't know who made it. It's not signed or anything, but you can see how they, you know, they, um, I don't know. I don't know how glass blowing works, but infuse the bottom here. <laughs> and they use all these speckled co different colors. Um, I would love to take a, a glass blowing class or something. Cause I just think glass blowing mm -hmm. is just so cool and fun, but it's a fun bowl and, and I can, I can measure it. Um, they have a place in Lincoln City and where you can do classes. I think I might try that someday. someday. Eight inches across and about uh, three and a half inches tall. Um, you have, yeah, I know, right? And um, this is going to be $12, number 10. $12, number 10. I was thinking that, Elizabeth, also, that it looks like confetti. Really pretty. Yeah. All so those different sure. colors. Hi, Keisha Cat. I'm not sure how they make this, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they blow it somehow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, it would be really interesting, but I oh, have wow. to go after spending a few days in the 90 and 100 degree heat i don't know if i want to go into glass blowing because i know you gotta be around all that heat <laughs> i don't know if i can take it now <laughs> i'm getting to be a wimp but that's <laughs> why i like living where i live i live about 20 miles north of seattle and uh, I, I really like it because you know summers are like 70s low 80s and we don't usually get into the hundreds and stuff. Yesterday, we tied our all-time record. Today, we're going to be almost, they think even maybe 10 degrees warmer today than our all-time record. So it's just kind of mind-blowing right now on how hot today is going to be. It is currently almost 10 o'clock because we're West Coast time, so it's not quite 10 o'clock, and it's already 91 degrees. So, whoo, it is hot, <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Um, no, we don't have air conditioning because, again, it's usually 70s into the 80s. Who needs air conditioning when it's really not that hot? It's an added expense. Nobody... You know, I would say maybe 15% of the houses have something like that. So, nope, we're not really equipped for it. And the sad thing is, is that it's going to cool down, I think, into the 80s on Wednesday, but then back up into the 90s again for the rest of the week and the weekend. So, yeah, this is very, very unusual weather for us, unfortunately. Um, so, I, I may be... A, a melted pile of goo by the end of the week. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so next up, I've got this beautiful candle holder. Now this is um, metal and it has this nice strip here of glass that has the dried flowers and then the lace behind it. And it does have a little hook right here. So you can hang that up on the wall. And then we've got this nice little candle sconce down here. So really pretty to hang on the wall. Put a little candle in there, get that pretty reflection on the glass. 
and that pretty blue dried flower. And this is about, well, let's see. Well, this part is about nine inches and this adds about another inch and a half. And so this cute little candle sconce, because it can hang on the wall, is $4, number 67. And oh, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I just came back. Sorry, guys. Hi, okay. I, I'm seeing some new people coming in. Um, uh, that tag. Grace and Pamela. Hi, every. If I haven't said hello, I take a step back. Uh, D, the glass bowl was um, the glass bowl. The glass bowl was uh twelve dollars number ten the art glass bowl was uh, twelve dollars number ten uh so the doggy the the tail broke maybe i'll show that if you guys want it like as is i don't know um yeah we don't have ac here like trish was saying you know this is very unusual for us and oh do you want that okay um so you know, we usually don't need it. Um, and usually we have like a few hot days in August, like a hundred and stuff, but um, not like in June. <laughs> this is weird. Um, okay, and you're putting the drawing. Um, so if you buy purchase something from me, you put in a dr drawing. Um, so the replacement I have is another photograph I grabbed real quick. Who who wanted the photograph, old photographs? Who was that again? Book Bewitched? Anyway, this is of a baby. And I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, because back then they just put them all in white, you know, gowns. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you see the kind of the faded background is on a grassy patch. This is probably around 100 years old. And again, it's on that stiff cardboard. Uh, is this Indiana? La Porta, Indiana. And this is going to be uh, $4, number 16. $4, number 16. $4, number 16. Here's the back of it. So that was my replacement. Uh, Trisha, do you... Uh, oh, you, you want Elizabeth? Okay. Um. You have another item, right, Trisha? Or where are we at? Um, I do. Okay. Okay. Yep. And hello to everyone who just popped in. <laughs> um, I have a pair of uh, salt and pepper shakers that are owls. And so this one with his eyes open, he's got the two little flowers there. And they are both uh, marked made in Korea with stickers on the bottom and they do have stoppers she i think with her little flowers in her hair um took a little bit of a nose dive and you can see she's got a little paint scrap on her nose it's not a chip it's just a little bit of paint loss these are and cute they measure about two and a half inches tall so they're just a sweet little pair and they are in really good condition, other than her little nose dive. And this cute little pair of owls, again, made in Korea, and they do have their stoppers. Six dollars, number 78. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is the dog that the tail broke. If you want this dog, it's one dollar and you can glue the tail back on. You still have to pay shipping for it because I have to, ship, you know, so it's a dollar and it's going to be number, number six, as is number six, one dollar for the porcelain Scottish dog with a broken tail 
I mean, I'm not going to glue it. I'll just mail you the tail. <laughs> you can glue it. Yeah, well, just it in case it comes off again while it's being yeah, shipped. Yeah, I know. <laughs> don't want to do more damage. <laughs> oh, man. So delicate. I, I guess I was too rough with it. Um, where, Trisha, do you have more? Or I, I'm confused. Where are we at? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that was sixteen. I think I counted sixteen items. Okay. Uh, okay, Luke. Oops. So, so it all just depends on how much longer you want to go. And, oh, I and, think and oh, Lisa, Curious, oh, Lisa, Lisa Curious, you got it for first. Oh, yeah, you didn't put the number in, but you said one, I'll rescue him. So I'll, I'll count that. Sorry. It, it's fine. I'll put you in the drawing. Um, do you want to reshow things that didn't sell or what do you want to do? Um, I can. Do you want to take turns doing that or do it all um, at once or do a couple at a time or? Oh, you were giving her number. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Why don't you just, just show your stuff that didn't sell and then I'll go. Okay. So I have the um, napkin rings. These were made in Taiwan, and there are six of them. They are $3, number 63. I have the Lefton Goose. There is the, oops, there we go. There is the Lefton sticker. Goose figurine with a beautiful ring of flowers. And this was $5, number 77. No chips or cracks. I have the amber little glass bud vase, kind of in the shape of a pitcher with a clear handle. That was $6, number 86. And the metal candle sconce with the dried flowers, $4, number 67. The spoon rest three spoon rest with the uh, painted sunflower on it. $3, number 71. And 67 for Linda. Let me write that down. Thank you, Linda. And I've got the little sign that says painting the pump doesn't clean the well. That was $2, number 90. I have the pair of Royal Devon fine bone china made in England mugs. And they've got the pretty flower on the inside also. These were $6, oops, there goes the tag, $6, number 85. Do you see Maria? Oops, 71, thank you. Oh my God, I'm getting hot. Okay, I've got the dual candle holder and vase. The little glass vase is in the box here. This is the candle holder. This is the frame. And this is $10, number 87. And this brass candle sconce made in India. $5, number 70. And it does have a little hook back here for hanging. 
I've got the sign that was the reproduction of a sign that was uh, Valencia 1930. And this cute, this is a metal sign and it does have holes in the top for hanging. And I'm writing down Linda for number 70. Thank you. And this one was $10, number 62. Okay. All right. So okay. thank you everyone for that. Hi, Yvonne. And just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be sending out invoices today for the stuff you buy from me today because tomorrow night I'm having this sale on my channel with Yvonne Thrifty Rich at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you buy like tomorrow night, I can combine the items. I mean, if not, it's fine, but I won't be sending out um, uh, invoices probably till like Wednesday. Um, so anyways, okay, the, so we're just showing the things that didn't sell earlier if you're late to the sale. So I'm gonna re-show some of the things that didn't sell for me, just like Trisha did. One of the things that didn't sell earlier today was the, um, the blue and silver tone pendant has kind of filigree look to it. It's silver tone. It's a really cute pendant. Cool. And it says $6, number seven. Looks like a star or angel in the middle there. $6, number seven. And then I had the, whew, I had the, uh, aunt, Vintage, almost antique postcards. These are like from the 30s and 40s. Um, all different waterfalls, mostly Niagara Falls. Some of these are totally blank. Um, this one is 1940-something. It's it's written on. This is when, you know, they would color them in. Color them in almost looks like um, Photoshopped. Photoshopped back in the day. <laughs> Um, so those are all those, uh, postcards are $8. There's five of them, $8. Number five for the vintage postcards. Then the wood painted project piece that, uh, Ethel Knapp made in 1978. So you can put pencils, pens, hat pins, candy canes. She did a wonderful job painting. It's all wood. This was $10, number two. $10, number two. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, two pink necklaces. This one was like this colored large shell pendant with the seed beads. And you could easily take seed beads off if you just want the pendant on pop of color. And it comes with this little plastic pendant with a rubber um, necklace. And these two necklaces were $6, number nine. And what else, what else? Oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark book. It's hardback. It has pictures of the movie. This was from 1981. Uh -huh. So it kind of has pictures straight from the movie. And this one was uh, $6, number 12. And what else? Did I sell the, did I sell the um, Mickey Mouse cards? Oh, yeah, I did to Belinda. Okay, so that was it. Oh, if anyone has old pics of women who look happy or are very unattractive. <laughs> I'm working on my art wall. That's cool. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do the drawing. So if you guys purchase from me, you are put into the drawing. Found this random bag. Because <laughs> I was like so last minute. Okay, who's going to win? Who's going to win? You guys can see. Uh, I only pick one. They're sticking to each other. There we go. All right. And the winner is. Ah, oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Curios. <laughs> you oh, won. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> Elizabeth, you won. Yay. You bought several things. So what she won and each sale I have, I'm going to have a special giveaway I'm starting something new. Elizabeth, you won a beautiful silk scarf and a gold tone hat pin and a butterfly, a vintage butterfly hanky. Those are little butterflies. So that will be put into your uh, package, Elizabeth. So that is it. Well, Trisha, thanks for coming to my yeah, this channel. Was great. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do because yeah. Now that I've gotten the thousand subscriber giveaway taken care of, and I think yeah. everything is finally out the door um, in July, I will start doing some fun stuff during my sales also. So you'll definitely want to be there. Yeah. And um, you have fun giveaways too. <laughs> so you guys get up to 2000 subscribers. <laughs> Subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, yes. next goal. Next we need goal. to get Stephanie up to 2,000. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am literally like, I think, 78 subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers. Oh. And I'm working hard on that. So let me tell you if you know anyone that wants to subscribe to my channel, I get to 2,000. I'm going to have a really fun giveaway. I'm going to like do like Trisha did and have a really fun giveaway because I'll be so appreciative. Like, thank God. <laughs> That's right. So get all of your um, family, your kids, yes. your husbands, partners, spouses, yeah. <laughs> any combination, your parents, yeah. your grandparents. I was going to say and grandparents. It's, it's free. Just subscribe. It's, it's just free. Subscribe. It costs it's, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's free. It's just it's like volunteer work. <laughs> just, just do it. Anywho, I am sweating bullets. It's 10, 11 here. Stephanie wants like, to get in that pool. <laughs> I want to get in that pool. I want to take this shirt off. I'm not going to do it right now. I want to hang out my bras. That's underwear. a whole other show. <laughs> Maybe I'll get more subscribers if I was like, I'm free. <laughs> Just hang out free. Anywho. All right. Thank you guys so much. And remember. Well, thank you for being here. This was so much fun. It was. Um, oh, yes. Picasso Cat to 1000. Can't believe she's not. I think I'm subscribed. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. I believe I am. I'll have to double check. But um, cool. All right, Trisha. Make sure to visit uh, her sales and my sale tomorrow night. Yes, right, I so hope to see you guys on Wednesday at my sale. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. See you guys. All right. Bye-bye. Stay cool, everyone. <laughs> Let's see.